hell and um there's uh, spirits down there and you have to do all these things you know it's sort of you know through trial and error um you just you know you have all these items you just use them in a sort of you know in yes you, know, you know through these certain steps and then you're able to solve the uh you know the mysteries of the hades and how to you know get beyond that so um but if you watch uh, carefully uh, when you're uh, ringing the bell lighting the candles and reading the book you'll notice that it'll say uh, that you dropped the candles so what i've done is i've actually dropped the candles i didn't realize it so I was trying to light the candles and um, read the book, but I, for some some reason, I didn't have the candles. I was thinking, you know, did I leave the candles back in the altar, or you know, what happened? So this is what's going on right now. Is I'm you know backtracking. I'm trying to fi- figure out, you know, did I take them to the kitchen? Did I somehow grab them when I was uh, grabbing the um, the um, the um, scepter or you know, where, where did I leave those candles? And now I'm finding out that, oh yeah, that's right. The, uh, I dropped them. So now I'm heading back to the round room, heading through the, uh, altar and I'm going to be heading to, to Hades next. And then I'm going to, you know, do the steps correctly. So, you know, ringing the bell, uh, lighting the candles and reading the book so the spirits will um, move out of the way and I can traverse through to um, the end where the uh, the skull is. So this is what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm heading down. I'm in Hades. There's the candles. There's the brass bell. Now I've got the, the bell. I'm ringing the bell. I still haven't picked up the candles though. The candles are still on the floor and Actually, uh, because they're already lit, I'm running out of time because once the uh, there are certain things in the game that if you wait too long, then you can't progress any further. That's pretty much it. So it's you know it kind of tricks you, and that includes the uh, things like the lantern. The lantern will only uh, supply uh, um, enough light for a certain amount of time before there is you know. You, you no longer have light and you're pretty much stuck. So if you don't have an alternative light source, then, uh, which we'll find later, this is what happens to me, and then that is, uh, there's no uh, other way of getting through the uh, rest of the game and you're pretty much stuck. Um, so um, now I'm lighting the matches, figuring out that I uh, had to pick up the candles, so I just picked up the candles, lighting the matches again, I only had a certain amount of matches too so once the, all the matches are gone then that's it and now the spirits have uh, have left and I'm able to head down south to the land of the dead pick up the skull and now I finally have everything but I am also encumbered so that means encumbering means that I've uh, I have too much stuff I have a backpack and you know I can only um, hold so many things in this backpack, and if um, I run out of room, then I have to decide what do I need to uh, take with me to uh, progress through the rest of the game. So I, you know, I already used a wrench, so I dropped the wrench, and now I'm able to pick up the skull. So now I've got the skull, and now I'm heading to the next area, which is called the. Um, it's the it's a, it's a sort of a, it's a small maze area, um, which is um, it's the mines. So this is kind of a, it's a smaller maze area. There's a there's a larger maze area that I uh, end up getting stuck in, but this is sort of a it's kind of like a you know introduction to the to the mazes, and uh, you're just figuring out you know how do you get through the the uh, mines. So. I'm uh, going through the bat room, which I needed a certain object in order to do that, or you know, otherwise I would, you know, reach a certain doom right there. Um, and um, you'll know, kind of, you kind of figure, you know, if you look look at my inventory um, carefully, you'll figure out, you know, there's a certain item in there that, you know, it's like bats. You know, think about vampire bats. You know that kind of thing. So you kind of. Uh, 
using your imagination. So a lot of this game is a lot about the imagination as well. So it's you know it's a really it's a really great game I think for you know kids. Um, this is a game that uh, my uncle introduced to me back uh, when I was in uh, elementary school, and I think I was probably in third grade when I was in elementary school when I was playing this game. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's you know a lot of reading involved, but. Uh, for you know, for a third grader, you know, you can they can figure it out and you know, ask you know questions and that kind of thing. But um, yeah, I think it's a good game for a, you know, for a young child to uh, to uh, try. And uh, you know, I was young when I played the game, and you know, I was able to get through you know, at least some of the underground. Um, so I just picked up the coal, and the coal is interesting. There's you know, there's something that's um, if you um. I think I don't know how how much truth there is to this, but if you compress carbon, so coal is like carbon. If you compress carbon, uh, you can form like a you know like highly compressed. You can form like something that's like a diamond, and uh, at least in this game, you know you can do that. And that's what's going to happen is um, there's going to be a machine a little bit later that I'm going to place the diamond the coal into, and uh, you'll just see, but. Um, it will produce this diamond. So, and it's kind of a, it's a puzzle. So I'm putting all this stuff into the basket, and um, the reason why I'm doing that is because there's going to be a certain section in this game where uh, you can't carry anything through this one uh, area because it's the, uh, the corridor is just too tight. And so I'm uh, putting everything into the basket that I need for the next section, Except I need one light source right now, and then I need another light source when I get pat through the corridor, <clears throat> because the whole game, you know, still is pitch dark, and you know, light doesn't like you know bleed into a um, another room. You know, it just you know, if you enter a room and it doesn't, there's no light source, then it's pitch black. You know, as, lo as long as you're in the underground, except for the forest, that's you know, the only the only light sources there are are the natural light. You know. From the uh, sun and um, and anything that you're carrying. So now I'm in the timber room and I'm dropping everything because um, it's there's a narrow passage, a very narrow passage it says. And in order to cross into the next room, I can't have anything on me. So I'm the only stuff that I was able to bring is the stuff that I um, that I put in that basket and you know lowered it down to the bottom. That's the only stuff. So now I'm at the machine room. I have a, uh, a, a screwdriver, the coal, and my um, the torch. And I'm placing the coal into the machine. The machine just happens to have a broken butt uh, switch. And um, so the only way to activate the machine was with the screwdriver. So it's, you know, kind of, it's like a hint, you know. You have to. You have, you, are, you can't push the button because it's the the uh, switch is broken. So you need a tool in order to uh, to push the button, which I just happen to have. And now uh, the machine has gone. Uh, you know, it's done its thing. A dazzling display of colored uh, lights and bizarre noises. And now I have a diamond. So that's not my next uh, piece of treasure. And now I am uh, heading back. Um, up, I'm putting everything that I need into the basket, the um, the torch that I need, uh, because the torch is also a uh, it's a, a piece of value, and, you know, it's worth money, and the diamond and the screwdriver. So everything that um, I need, I'm putting into the basket. I'm going to raise that back up to the top, and then once um, I'm not carrying anything, uh, I can cross in through the uh, gap into the next room and collect all my things. So um, while we're doing that, um, uh, once again, uh, this is a game that you can play right now. Just go to uh, www.we6jblbbs.org. Uh, game is completely free. Uh, this is a multiplayer game, so you can play with three other uh, friends. Um, what you'll They'll, you'll basically, will give you a code.